Well, this pandemic has certainly made one thing crystal clear. Healthcare workers are true heroes. And that's certainly how one father here in Indianapolis feels about his daughter. She works as a nurse at Ascension St. Vincent. She saved his life after he went into cardiac arrest while he was at home. Yeah, she was at the right place at the right time. Her training is the reason her dad is alive today. Mm -hmm. Tonight, the story is inspiring Indiana. So, Sydney, first question, would your dad, Greg, be alive today if you were not a nurse? With that specific situation, I don't think he would be here today. My mom wasn't trained on CPR, so I think it was a blessing that I was a nurse and that I was there at that time and it worked out well. So take us through that day. Honestly, I have no recollection of that day. Uh, I have no memory of it. Sydney, I know that you do. It's probably a day that you're never going to forget. That Tuesday, my mother tested positive for COVID-19, and my dad did come back testing positive for COVID-19. Since me and my daughter were negative, we were just going to go ahead and leave and just let them quarantine together. So as we were leaving, we just heard this weird noise. And I'm like, what are you doing, old man? Like, what are you doing? And he wasn't responding. It was just time for me to step into action. So I told my mom to call 911 and I pulled my dad out of the bed and I just start performing CPR and doing everything I can to save my dad. But it's different when you're dealing with a loved one. So in the background, you have my mom calling 911 and at the same time, she's yelling, save your dad, Sydney, do what you can, save your dad. And in my head, I'm just doing compressions, doing rescue breaths checking his pulse at the same time and just saying, come on, dad, you can do it, you can do it. How hard was it for you to contain your emotions? It was very hard, but when, as a nurse, you're taught to put your emotions to the side and focus on the job. So at that moment, although on the inside, I'm screaming, I'm shaking, I wanna cry. I just know the mission is put these emotions to the side, focus on saving his life. I consider her my real life hero. That's my baby. And she stepped into action and she, she she did what she was trained to do. And I'm so proud of her. When you hear your dad say that, that's gotta make you feel amazing. It does, it makes me emotional and stuff. And he has a granddaughter, a brand new baby granddaughter, and he has many things to see of her. You know, walk across the stage and her to get married and have kids. So I'm like, his time wasn't done yet. And my main mission was to make sure that my dad was here to see a lot of accomplishments of my life and not only my life, but my daughter's life as well. I'm getting emotional now just <laughs> because uh, just because things could have gone a different way, uh, but it didn't. So I'm so appreciative that God allowed her to be at that point in time um, to be in the house at that particular time. She just jumped right into action and performed her duties without even Thinking, of, thinking about it. I mean, we're all crying now. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I do believe, Greg, that Sydney is now exempt from Father's Day presents for the rest of her life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, get, she awesome. gets a pass. Dad, we love you. We're always here for you. And thank you for being strong and thank you for holding on and just uh, being able to come home to your family. And we love you. Mm. Man, it's so great to see him smiling there. Oh, I mean, yeah. he was in bad shape. Greg was intubated for seven days, and he even went into cardiac arrest two more times after that initial event. Yeah, it's not entirely clear tonight how much Greg's COVID diagnosis was related to those heart problems. It was just last week that Greg was able to go home. He's doing much better, mm -hmm. and doctors do say that Sydney's quick action and her nursing schools likely saved her father's mm -hmm. life.